Welcome back to Heath Hounds episode 28. Today's preview I'll be going through tomorrow night's Meadows card featuring the six Hume Cup heats. So let's get into it. Race one, you've got Miss Esme who's crossed the border. She's drawn nicely in box five. You've also got Zach's entity in uh, box seven who will suit this trip. Um, he'll be running on late, but I think he gives too much away in the early um, phase of the race. So I've gone with Miss, Miss Esme here. Um, I just think she gets out in clear, and I don't think um, Zach's entity will be able to reel her in. Um, as much as he's got a real strong run home, I just can't see him um, catching Miss Esme. She's been a real um, young star talent um, on the rise, and uh, I think she'll continue her great form and win this race. So I've gone with race one, box five, Miss Esme. <laughs> race two, I'm going with box two, Indy Fado. Um, he's been good in his past two starts, um, two starts back, ran five flat to the first mark, um, and backed it up last week in the Great Chase final, running 5.06, so um, I'm get, presuming that he'll get the early lead here over Well Grounded, um, he, Well Grounded is cl a class dog, but I just think he's a bit hit or miss, um, he's been lacking a bit of form as well, so I've gone with Indy Fido, Fido. Um, I just think she's the better dog on the day um should get out on the lead and get on that rail early so i'm going with indy fido for race two from box two race three i'm going with box six um caroline it just seems to be too classy for this field um zipping pearson scratch um zipping tesla needs the rail drawn out wide in box eight um tan star big step up in distance um has struggled to break 26 seconds at geelong so that's a bit of a worry for me, so I've gone with box six, Caroline. Um, just a real good runner, um, reliable, and should run it out strongly enough. So for race three, I've gone with box six, um, Caroline. Race four, the first of six Hume Cup heats, and it looks to be a battle between Zipping Ontario and Zipping Rambo here. Um, both class dogs, Zipping Ontario, probably won't begin all that well, um, but he'll be running home strong. Zipping Rambo, he's a class dog. He'll be looking to get out on the lead early. Um, but I've gone with Mirror Illusion here from box one. Um, it's a couple starts back. He ran a nice second to bounce back. Um, led the whole way. Just got um, clipped at the end of the race. Um, so I think he can back that up with box one. Um, he's got a nice PB at Sandown in 34 and 06. Um, he's drawn well. He likes the red. He's had three wins. Uh, he's had four starts for three wins and a second. Um, from box one, so I've gone with Mirror Illusion in race four. Race five, I'm going with box three, Bobby the Brute. Um, I think he gets across here. Um, looking at his form, it doesn't all look all that great. Um, but when you actually look at it, he's had when he's ran over 600 at Sandown on the 5.95. Should I say he's ran well? He's had a 700 start, which he didn't do too well in, and he's had a couple 500 meter races that he hasn't done too well in. But I think this is the distance that suits him better. Um, and in, I think he'll be able to get across. Um, Graceland Bale, she'll jump out okay. But I don't think we'll be able to beat Paddy Wants Pat or uh, Bobby the Brood out. Paddy Wants Pat might just get stuck on that rail. He might just want to get off it a bit. So I've gone with Bobby the Brood here in race five. Race six, I really like King of Calypso here from box two. Um, Nick's Bale from box one doesn't begin all that well. Uh, Malaya Bale, she'll st he'll start really far back and he'll be rattling home. Um, and Fernando Caswell, question marks over what's going to happen here because he hasn't had too many runs in recent times. Um, from box seven in a wide draw, it's going to be tough for him. Um, so I've gone with um, King of Calypso here from box two. I just think he gets out in front early and leads all the way. Nick Bale probably just doesn't begin as well. And just question marks over Fernando Caz and what he'll do. I'm not sure what he'll do. Um, huge question marks. But I've gone with King of Calypso in race six from box two. Race seven, you've got Tyler Dernan from box one. Uh, Draco Bale from box eight. And bounce back from box five, as I said before. He was super the other day at Sandown. Um, I think he's clearly the dog to beat. You've got untapped in box three. But I think bounce back from box five, I think he'll be able to handle the middle box, the middle draw, so I say. Um, and I think he'll get out in the clear. And once he gets out, he'll be pretty hard to reel in. So I've gone with race seven, box five, and bounce back here. Race eight, I'm going with box four, highly explosive. 
Um, Ponga Warrior for box two. Um, with Aston Lavinia on his outside, it's going to make it tough for him because he's probably going to get across from her. So I've gone with Highly Explosive. I think gets the card across from Aston Lavinia um, and, and has been rattling home really well um, in his past, in her past couple runs, should I say. Um, she, she looks to be another strong contender in here. Um, and I think she's been screaming for this um, dis step up in distance. Um, she's been doing really well in all the um, races in shorter courses. So I think she'll be able to win here. So I've gone with race 8, box 4, highly explosive. Race 9, I've gone with Enter the Sun. Um, Tinsley Bale, box 3, should give him the nice card across. Um, he's been screaming for a step up in distance. He's been rattling home real hard in his 525 metre races. R consistently running placings. Um, just hasn't been getting well enough. So he's been running placings because he's been able to run home well. I think he wins this one. Persian Goddess, um, Gypsy Wyong. I think Gypsy Wyong sort of gets squeezed here from Persian Goddess, Goddess and Tinsley Bale. That's how I see the race playing out. I can't see Persian Goddess sticking it out. And sticking on the rail. So I think Tinsley Bale gives Enter the Sun a nice clean run. Um, a vacant box to his outside for Enter the Sun. I think he's a real strong chance. And I've gone with him in race 7 or race 8 should I say. Or 9 should I say. Finally got it. Race 10 it's pretty clear for me. Jungle Deuce. Um, track Specialist Jarvi in box 2. Um, but I think Jungle Deuce just proves too classy for this field. Um, he's drawn a vacant box on his inside, but he just uh, he's just too good for a field of this. So for race 10, I've gone with a box 6 and Jungle Deuce. Race 11, you've got the two daily dogs on the inside who will look to be the main danger. But I'm going with Flying Lantern here from box 6. Coming off a um, short stint in WA, should begin well with that 600 metre form. He'll have no problems running out the distance. Kenji Height looks to be lacking a bit of form recently. Americano Miss will probably begin well, but just hasn't hasn't had many runs over the 500 in recent times. So we're going with Flying Lantern in race 11. Race 12, we're going with Box 4, Uncle's Girl. We'll be on the page from the outset, round 30, oh, um, 6 last time around. Um, probably gets out in the lead. Um, and I just can't see many dogs beating this if she gets out. So for race 12, I've gone with box 5, Uncle Girls. Coming off a real strong win in 30.06, so she'll be tough to beat. Mount Heath's Hound of the Week. This week it goes to Bandit Ned, um, who won the Group 1 Vic Peters Classic last week at Wentworth Park, um, beating Zip in Kansas. He ran 29.46, um, and it was just an all-round complete performance. He was able to beat Zipping Candice at uh, Can Kansas, should I say. Um, but Zipping Candice, Kansas is another one to watch out for. Um, he was really good um, to run second. Uh, he started at the back, um, but was able to make his way through the field, and he's one to watch as well. But he's out of the week. He goes to Band and Ed. Um, a blister in 29.46 in the Group 1 Vic Peters at Wentworth last week. Uh, that's it for He's Hound of the Week, episode 28.